Welcome to the Seesaw Library Series, the Seesaw Library for Independent Practice. By the end of this tutorial, you'll be able to assign differentiated activities that support student learning in the classroom, provide students multiple opportunities to practice foundational skills, teach students how to use Seesaw's multimodal tools to reflect on their learning, building a digital portfolio to show growth over time, the Seesaw Library offers thousands of high-quality, standards-aligned, ready-to-assign lessons. They can easily be integrated into any instructional routine. Integrating Seesaw into independent work time is a fantastic way to hold students accountable for their learning and provide teachers a glimpse into student thinking. Seesaw lessons provide students the flexibility to practice grade-level foundational skills independently using Seesaw's multimodal tools. Let's jump in and discover how Seesaw supports this important instructional routine. Lessons in the Seesaw Library offer students multiple opportunities to engage in purposeful practice of skills independently. Teachers can assign multimodal practice activities, open-ended instructional templates, quick checks, and more for students to complete using Seesaw's multimodal tools to explain their thinking. Lessons in the Seesaw Library include multiple activities to support students with repeated practice opportunities with embedded supports like visual cues, built-in audio supports in English and Spanish, frames, informative assessment tools to allow students to progress through activities and check their understanding independently. Save time assigning activities using the Assign All button. This allows a lesson to be assigned in its entirety while providing students with the activities in sequential order. Teachers can easily support independent student learning by assigning differentiated activities that support classroom instruction. Once a skill has been modeled whole group, you can easily meet the needs of all students by assigning personalized activities to individual students or groups in Seesaw to meet students where they are. To begin, tap Assign on an activity. Then you can quickly choose who the activity will be assigned to using the Edit Student and Groups option. You can choose to assign this activity to all students, specific groups, or individual students. Once selected, tap Save. This makes supporting all students' learning needs easy. You can create preset groups to make differentiated instruction even easier. Do you want to learn more about creating groups in Seesaw? Visit the Creating and Managing Student Groups article in the Help Center. Another powerful way that Seesaw supports independent practice is through the use of Seesaw's multimodal tools to reflect on learning, building a digital portfolio to show growth over time in the process. To find templates for students to capture hands-on learning, head to the Seesaw Library, navigate to Seesaw Essentials, and select the Highlights collection. Teachers can assign Highlights pages weekly to capture progress and give students ownership in their work. This will also allow students, teachers, and connected family members to see growth over time. The Highlights folder is a great place to start when building a digital portfolio. Do you want to learn more about building and managing digital portfolios in Seesaw? Use the link in this video description to visit the Using Seesaw as a Digital Portfolio playlist on our YouTube channel. That brings us to the end of the Seesaw Library for Independent Practice tutorial. If you have any questions, please watch this tutorial again or visit our teacher resources page for additional support.